Hey guys, it's Friday, I'm Brittany, and this is Seven Awesome Lesbians. Um, I'm back at home for Easter break, and I'm almost finished school. And it's very soothing that I'm at home, considering this week's topic is about um, reflecting back on the year and uh, the changes that we've made and uh, how the channel contributed to those. And it's very soothing that I'm home because I made my very first video right in front of that couch. Um, it's not quite my one year um, anniversary on the channel yet. I made my first video on May 7th of last year. Um, for those of you that didn't know, I actually replaced a different girl on Seven Awesome Lesbians. Um, I was the second Friday I auditioned after a week of the channel being started. Nonetheless, I still love it very much and it's uh, basically looking back on the year. I've become a lot more comfortable with who I am. Um, I've come out to pretty much everyone who I think needs to know, at least at this point in my life. I've let myself experience a lot. Um, during high school I was very, um, very shy. Not maybe, shy is not the right word. I was very reserved and kind of uh, cautious when it came to being involved in certain things and like talking to people and anything like that. But uh, this past year, I've definitely grown up a lot in that way. Um, the channel's contributed a lot to that. I've gotten to know these wonderful people who um, go through the same things, and like all the people on the channel, um, they've all helped me in their own little way um, go through different parts of my life, and and uh, just being being in a group of people and knowing that there's people there, and, and if I ever needed them. It's definitely wonderful. Also, just putting my thoughts out into the world and thinking that, hey, there was there's somebody out there who was me when I was, you know, however old, trying to find answers and reasons to why I felt the way I did. Um, being able to know that, you know, somebody might watch that and take something from it, take something from my words when, you know, people try and figure out ways to make a difference in the world every day. And uh, I get to do it every Friday. So that's really comforting to know that I can, I am helping someone, even though I, I don't even know them. Maybe I do know them, but most likely I don't. <laughs> Basically, I just have made some really strong bonds, some really strong friendships, and um, it's definitely something I'm going to look back on and be like, wow, I did that, and like I was a part of that. And I will continue to make a video for as long as, you know, it's up for as long as people want to see them. We will continue to make them. I definitely think this is a great experience for me. It's something that not everyone gets to do. Um, I love that there's like 500 um, of you that, you know, watch us every time we make a video. And it's just like, it's just amazing. I can't thank the members of this channel enough for, you know, giving me the opportunity to be a part of this. I love each and every one of them. They're just so unique and special and I feel like they're going to all make a really big difference in this world. Um, even bigger than they're already making now. We're going to see good things from these people, definitely. The question is, what is the Day of Silence for you? Um, the Day of Silence, um, I didn't... <laughs> I didn't do the day of silence this year because I have exams and I need to communicate with people so I can study, but I did do it in high school every year and I think that it's really important to do it when you're in high school because that's generally where you find the people who have A, no knowledge of it, or B, who are very uh, mean. <laughs> and I think that the people in high school are like the ones who who need, their minds need to be altered the most, like their their views need to be changed the most if they're negative. So I think it's really important to like give awareness to those people who don't have a voice, who just sit there in silence and take shit from people. Generally if, you know, you're at school and somebody is bullying you and they punch you in the face, a teacher will stand up and do something about that and they'll have that child suspended. But if you're being bullied for being gay, a lot of people will just overlook it. A lot of teachers will just be like, oh, whatever. But that needs to stop. That silence that those teachers have, that silence that those bystanders have, that those bullies have, 
that the victim has, it all needs to be broken and there needs to be awareness and a voice brought to the situation and I definitely think that the day of silence is important. So yeah, um, that's my little spiel for you guys. I have lots and lots of studying to do, so have an awesome weekend. Happy Easter. Um, love you guys. Um, stay cool, and I will see you next Friday. And every Friday after that, if you want me to be here, I will be here. Peace. Copious amounts of love to all of you. Bye, guys.